I just said at break that I thought El Dorado with Zach Gentry could win the state championship. No, 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 no. What you said you? they are going to win state, and I what said is, you are crazy. You think I'm crazy? Yes. I don't know, man. What? I believe in him. I can't make a, a I can't belief. make a state prediction yet, even though I think next week we're going to do our little predictions. But so I guess we gotta we have to make a prediction. But that is crazy. Okay, maybe I won't have him winning the state championship. Okay. Just trying to rattle you a little bit. I think it worked. No, I like Coach Sanchez, so we're cool. Three and out. <laughs> um, we just we just went through mm -hmm. high school sports, right, Charles? Yeah. And then we talked about the polls. Mm -hmm. Well, now it's time to move on topics. Yeah. All right. Keep it fresh in the memories. The 6A brackets. Yes. Look, it's quarterfinal football time. And... We want to talk about... What's the biggest matchup? Yeah, that's, that's what I want to go. Where's the biggest matchup? So, I have a hard time thinking about this. You know, we brought it up last night. I think it's going to be that Cibola and El Dorado game. You think that's the, the well, big... It's, to me, it's the biggest matchup because you have a Cibola team who can completely destroy this playoff bracket if they get through El Dorado. I'm talking like no one saw... Okay, Cibola barely got in. <laughs> And then they put a beat down on Cleveland. Now they get El Dorado, who's, who probably is saying, oh, we, we could be Cibola. So now if you have an El Dorado team overlooking Cibola, Cibola has a good chance to just cause just madness throughout this whole tournament, which I, you know, I like madness. They can. I, I think they're going to have to play fantastic mm -hmm. again. I think El Dorado isn't overlooking them, though, considering no. what they just did to Cleveland. I don't think you can overlook anybody when you're in the quarterfinals. The game I'm most interested in, is La Cueva and Oñate because mm -hmm. I think the trenches are going to be just ridiculous. Yeah. It's going to be run, run, run. Smash mouth. Smash mouth. And ooh, so who's going to make the first mistake? Who's going to score first and make the other team come out of their element? And I think that's interesting. It's, it's going to be a battle. I'm interested to see if Oñate can come to the Metro and get to their first highest classification mm -hmm. semifinal. They've been to the semifinal when they were in 4A, but, but can, never in 5A can Kuyat or Hotley, can, can these guys pass when need be? Because it's, gonna, it's going to come down to the quarterback making plays, I think, because you have two really good defenses out there, Adam. Running a ball, that's their bread and butter. Is going, I, I think Bo is going to have to make some plays with his arm. He has the weapons out there. I'm not sure if uh, Fabian Reyes has the weapons outside uh, such as La Cueva. So uh, that's, that's a very big-time matchup. I'm also intrigued by that Mayfield-Clovis game because uh, we talked about how Clovis' defense has really really impressed everyone this weekend. The more you <laughs> think about it, all of them are intriguing, yeah, right? because they, they have good storylines. All Every of them. Every single a good storyline with all of them. We're going to break these down tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, we'll give our picks on Friday. Mm -hmm. We'll break them down tomorrow i got to be careful of my picks, Charles, because you're creeping up on me. I'm only up four. I know we got that scoreboard somewhere because we, we need to... I'm trying to go coast to coast. ...recognize you. how I'm coming back on you, okay? So I'm going to come back. Here, you're not there, it winning. Is. there it is. I'm, we, so we have eight games to pick from Adam, <laughs> okay? I'm down four. This weekend we have eight games. Yes. yes. So this is a big weekend for me. I need to I need to really maximize my picks right here. So I'm, I'm coming. To be smart. I'm, gun I need to I'm gunning for I'm you. I'm going to be strategic about how I go about this. Oh. There's not a lot of games left. I'm going to be very strategic. I'm going to hold on to this. I'm going to ice this like at the free throw line. Take <laughs> this to the free throw line, and I'm going to uh, win this. I'm excited because we're going to break down all the games. We're going to break yep. down the defenses, the offenses who we think are you know top notch uh, during the playoffs, or whatever. So I'm excited to see what we got going on here. So, uh, but mostly what I'm excited for is college football playoff time. It's starting to heat up. There's people upset. I was li listening to the radio. People calling in upset because the SEC got two schools. Come on. Florida State you knew it is would happen. Three. That's why they did this is so the SEC could have two <laughs> opportunities basically to win. No. Like, this, that's how it should be. Look, it's gonna, look, number one, I love how they figured out how to just put the bowls as the actual – Bracket games, which doesn't take a genius to figure I just, out. I don't like that. I don't think it's right. I, don't, I think it's awkward. You Why? know, you I don't know. You win the, the Sugar Bowl and then you go on to play in the championship. Yes. If you win the Rose What's Bowl, wrong and with that? Next year it'll be it'll be the they alternate Fiesta the bowl bowls. And, yeah. I don't next know. year it should be eight teams, but that, nothing's wrong. That's the best way where you can keep the bowl pageantry. Uh, you keep the bowl sponsorship money. Why don't you money? make the national championship a bowl game? What the national championship bowl? No, just call it the, the national championship and make that the Rose Bowl. 
No, I think eventually they will, though. Anyway, just, let's, I, man, I look, we are like all it. off topic here. I, I don't Did you, like Do you agree with Bama being number one? I don't like that. You agree with Bama being number one? Alabama, no, now I number one. No, I don't agree with them being number one. Why? Why? Because they beat Miss State, so all of a sudden they're number one, and they lost to it was Miss. An, it was an impressive victory. So you jump from five to one? No, I don't. I think it's because of their name, Alabama. Why would Oregon not be as number one? Florida State hasn't lost yet. Why would they not be number one? Why is it Alabama one? Oregon lost it, already. Does it matter? No. Florida State has played no one. They barely beat my Miami Hurricanes this weekend. They beat Notre Dame. Notre Dame Notre slipping lost out of control. to Northwestern. I know. I know. I know. Well, so, that's because they, they're, you know, they knew they were You know who it. my sleeper is? Ohio. The Ohio State Buckeyes. Who are they going to replace? The only team they could replace is Miss State if Miss State falls off. They're going that's to it. replace... I don't care who they replace. I just think they're going to sneak in. That's what I think. Cause the, the what next, about TCU? The, well, their problem is they lost to Baylor. So at the end of the day, Agreed, the but, conference champion. But Baylor's, but Baylor's schedule is a lot less they do have competitive a cupcake than schedule. TCU. Yes. So TCU finds but themselves gonna, yeah. in an interesting position. Um, you've got Ohio State, who's mm -hmm. a one-loss team. Baylor, who's a one-loss team. Oregon's going to be in if they win out, yeah. no doubt about it. And they have UCLA sitting at 10, hoping for the stumble. And then you still got Ole Miss. Oh, I mean, Ole Miss, don't forget about Ole Miss. They can still creep in, in there. That's what's crazy no, they about this. They yes, they two can. losses. They still can. In. Okay, there's going to be a two-loss team that get in. I'm, call, I'm telling you right now. I'm calling it out now. A two-loss team no, will get in. No, because Ohio State's going to run the table. So it's impossible. You're, you're that, assuming they're going to run the yes. table. Yes. The only way a two-loss team gets in is if everyone crumbles. I think if Florida State loses, even if they have one loss, they'll pick a two-loss team over Florida State. Florida State, Florida State, they're only, they don't have a hurdle left. No, no but that's Florida that, that also in, hurts them. Okay, Florida last State, year they the won, only they team were I really blowing teams out. This year they're barely squeaking. Alabama alive. could lose easy again. Mm -hmm. Miss State could lose easy again. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think Oregon loses. I don't. I think well, Oregon. They still got Oregon State, which is always a tough rivalry game. Okay. I, and then they and then they have the Pac-12 championship yeah, so, game, which will probably be UCLA. So if you're looking at it, you're saying Ohio State, who they smashed, has a great chance. They still have the Pac-10 the, championship. No, no, They're going to probably yeah. have to go against Wisconsin, which will be interesting as yeah, well. Yeah, but Wisconsin. Oh, Wisconsin. Ohio not State they is clicking on this last all weekend. cylinders right now, though. It'll all work itself out in the end. Hopefully. And soon, hopefully, one day this at least goes to eight. Can we and they get, can get eight? rid of the bowl games in the semifinals and do this properly? Everybody, they should let me helm this committee. Mr. Bracket himself, all right. Joe Lenardi deal. Mr. Bracketology. Hashtag deal with it. Come on back. <laughs>